another one. <laughs> we got another one, guys. So far, everything that I put together, all the serial numbers have produced gold. We've cracked a code to Treasure X and which ones contain the gold. From what we've experienced, probably 95% accuracy, or up in the 90s for sure. God, but these two, 100%. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Okay, guys, I got the all new Treasure X Series 4 Fire vs. Ice The Beast. Now, when it comes to Series 4, you're thinking, okay, what happened to Series 1, 2, and 3? Well, Series 1 was the first series that Treasure X put out, and it was just the Hunters. Then, Series 2, they had the Hunters, they had the Beast, and then you had the Mini Beast. Now, here's the Series 2 right here and it's the dragon's gold. And you can see we've got the toxic dragon and there's his gold, his gold toxic mutant brain. So there you go. So that's where they introduced the first beast, the dragons, which was in series two. And then came along series three, which is king's gold. So you have dragon's gold and you have king's gold. And you've got Shadowburn with his gold amulet, destroyer of light. And so then we get finally to season or series four to be technically geeky and accurate this is actually series it goes in series so series one just the hunters series two you got the mini beast the hunters and the beast which is the dragon's gold and then series three mini beast hunters and the beast which is your king's gold and then of course here they don't have the mini beast all they have in the fire versus ice are the hunters and the beasts so check out my other video on the hunters that's going to be super cool so back to our series four first of all you can see the in the front you have a fire or an ice beast. There are two of six that you can collect, a total of six to collect. And you can see up at the front, these are extinct beasts, no longer available except in the store near you. And then you can erupt the volcano and then carve. Once you erupt the volcano, you go inside the volcano and you'll be able to carve out to discover what is in there. And if it's gonna be one of six extinct beasts, either a fire beast or an ice beast. And then my other favorite part is it's, will you find real gold dip treasure? Well, that's what I wanna get guys, besides from the beast, of course, definitely. And then you can see on the side, and will you find fire or ice beast? And there's an ice beast, a picture of, well, one of three ice beasts, a total of six you can find. And you can see over here, there's one of the fire beasts and then a total of six beasts to collect. And that's one of three fire beasts that you can find. Sweet. And then up at the top will be fire or ice. So rub the volcano, find out if you're going to get fire coming out of it or ice. And so you want to make sure you got some spread so you don't burn the table or so it doesn't crack from the ice. And then once you find the fire, then you know you're going to get a fire beast. If, if it erupts ice or blue, then you know you're going to get an ice beast. And then something a little bit, for those of you who are like me, a little bit analytical, you want to say, hey, what's my chance of getting a gold in one of these? Down at the bottom in the fine print says one in 12 contains a real gold dip treasure. So, so awesome. So I got to get basically a case. They come in case packs and I didn't get a case. They just shipped all of these to me without a case. But in any case, I'm hoping to find at least one gold dip treasure. Oh, and then we got the back here. Don't forget the back. And you can see that there's 10 levels of adventure fun. First of all, you're gonna remove the tool. Two, discover your quest. Three, peel open the top. Four, add water to erupt. And then it's gonna erupt fire or ice. And then five, you're gonna find the key in the eruption. Six, peel to reveal. Seven, carve out the beast. Eight, crack open the meteor. Oh, sweet, a meteor. And then nine, did you find real gold dip treasure? If not, you get a common treasure. And then 10, display your beast. Total of six beasts to collect. And then by the way, if we're getting technically geeky, you wanna look at the back, it says available across series four. So this is a series here. So the easiest way I find to get this open is just to pull out the bottom. <laughs> so it just makes it so easy. Now, if you're thinking, why would Moose put a little black thing in here like this? Well, you pour the water into this black little cup and you'll dump it. Well, there you go. There's your volcano. Wow, that's cool looking. And it even has an X. X marks the spot or treasure X. And then you'll see up at the top, you got, is it fire or ice? And then down at the bottom, once you erupt it to get the key, you want to go ahead and follow the instructions and peel this off, reveal the beast, and then go ahead and dice and slice it from whatever it's in to be able to get the beast out and to get the meteor and then open the meteor and hopefully find that real gold dip treasure. Let's see what other contents we have. Okay, plastic container, nothing else in here. We're good. It's going to come with uh, some of these black bars. It was there to kind of keep it all together from breaking open the box. And so, uh, just... 
right there, there. There's our cutta, and that's what we're gonna use to slice through what is called water wax. I'll show you that in just a minute. So you got the jagged side, if that helps. You got a little thinner side, kind of more like a blade, but won't cut you, be careful. And then you've got the little scraper you can cut through or this that you can poke through, whatever your flavor is to be able to get to the beast that's inside that water wax. So there it is, cool. And then of course, that's part of the holding uh, container and you can put your cutter back in there. And then you've got two instructions. We'll go with the black and white first. And it's got a total of eight steps. So there's just the black and white, simple instructions there. And then the coolest part is the map quest or the real deal of what we're looking for. This is so cool. So you have two sides to it, right? So on one side, up at the top, you got the instructions that will go through. And then down towards the middle, like I said, you got six beasts to collect from. Three of are gonna be fire beasts versus the ice beasts, three that you can collect. And they look super cool. Treasure Rex, Scorchosaurus, and Raptorn. And then from the ice, you got Frost Smash and Gold Tor and Gold Chill. And so that Gold Chill, he kind of looks like uh, something that Excess would ride on. You know, Excess, the Treasure Hunter, Black. And then what about uh, King Gold Crown from Series 4? He's a Fire and Ice, and he's got a flaming top on his head, if you watched our video on that. And so I'm wondering, put in the comments if you think he's going to belong to the Treasure Rex or the Scorcher Source. I'm trying to figure out which one he's going to ride. And then below that, you got the Ultra Rare Gold Dip Treasures. You have the Pit of Burning Secrets. Shh. We won't tell anybody. I hope to get that gold, that looks cool. But then the Cauldron of Eternal Gold, that also looks super cool. Uh, I'm happy with either one, but it'd be great to get both. And then if you don't get one of those, you get a common treasure that still sound pretty cool and look cool. The Trident in the Fire or the Arrowhead of Ice. And then over on the other side, you've got the Volcanic Island. And it's cool because part of the island's burning up I and mean, you got fire problems going on. And it's got the Pit of Burning Secrets, which is the gold, and then tried in the fire, and then you got the ice side. It's just a cool little uh, sketch of the map of where you're gonna be at. So depending upon what you erupt, here is what side we're gonna be looking at, the fire or the ice. Okay, awesome. And then we want our plate because once you pour the water in here, after you pull off the top, like this, okay. In fact, you can cheat and look inside the top without pouring water to find out if it's fire or ice. Because if you look inside, the plastic didn't come off. Does that look red, orange to you? Or does it look like clear, white? It's not really blue, is it? So if it's white, that represents the ice. So we've got an ice dude here, or an ice beast, extinct beast that we're about to uh, pull out. But first, let's go ahead and rub it. You can actually see the key inside. And so, you know, you can just go ahead and let me get the plastic off and then you know you can pull the key but what's the fun of that so let's put it back in there the key and then let's get some water poured in here so it erupts okay so here hey where's this from it's series three king's gold sarcophagus anyways got water in there so i can just go ahead and dip this in there and then we're just going to pour it in there oh it's just enough perfect oh look at that whoa earthquake <laughs> So cool. That look erupted bootimously. Oh, fabulous, babes. You come here often, let's give you a little bit of a shave. I mean, the way you just, your hair grows is so awesome. It's just like, I don't know whether to gel it or just give it moose. <laughs> moose me. Oh, that was a shout out to moose. That's cool. You just kind of like cut that out and where's the key? Ah, okay, we need a little bit more water, guys. I'm gonna pour a little bit more water, see if we can get this thing to float up more. Oh, it's starting to come up more. Come on, come on. And so, well, in any case, here's the key. The key's coming up. It's right there. Yay, we got our key to open the crack, open the meteor. So hold on to that, that little key right there. So once you're done erupting, and that's just cool. I mean, you could like scrape it off and if you find any more powder in there, then you know uh, you didn't put enough water, but it looks like we did enough. So now we go ahead and peel open the bottom. And, oh, that feels so cool. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, he's blue, he's going blue, he's abazoo, he's, he's, he's blue. Look, he's frozen in time. That reminds me of the Ice Age with Sid the Sloth. No, really, it's just a fact. You know that part when they're in the, that dinosaur's in the ice? I mean, it looks just like it. So this is called water wax. So guys, you want to make sure that, you, well, you wash your hands after you're done playing with all this stuff. So who we have here? Oh, let's just dump them. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> uh, you may want to wear safety glasses if this stuff splotches and hits you in the face. So right there, look at that. So there's the meteor. 
right there. And there, he, that is so cool. I mean, he's like frozen in time or ice time. I mean, hey, it all freezes up, right? Time and ice. And we can go and just cut. I mean, whatever your flavor is, just cut, cut. I mean, it's just cool. It's like jello, don't eat it. <laughs> or you can use the saw, or you can use the pick to pull things away. I mean, to me, I just find if I grip it, oh, that is so cool. That is such a cool feeling. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is awesome. And it's not as messy. Oh, we like that. Is it bouncy? Nah, this is pretty much gelatin here. <laughs> you can play a little ice hockey. But hey, if you get this wet, oh, kind of does, little ice hockey there. So you can cut it. Okay, there's his, oh, he just lost his jaw. Okay, so who do we have here? This is Gold Tour. Oh, sweet, Gold Tours. Now, what comes with Gold Tour? Well, if we get the ultra rare Gold Dip Treasure, it'll be the ice, which is called Cauldron of Eternal Cold. And if we don't get that, then we'll get the Arrowhead of Ice. So there's that part. So we're gonna build ourselves a monster. You get it all out. Okay, not too bad. It's not as messy as the previous ones where you get blue rock all over the place in series three or all that powdery stuff in series two. Oh, he's got long toenails. He need to clip those. And so let's just put his head on. Oh, okay, I hope he stands up. Okay, so there he is, our gold tour. And you can see over here, there's a little spot to put his treasure on. And he's got a little flat back to put the hunter on so the hunter can ride him. Let's go ahead and go for the meteor. Now, is it feeling kind of heavy? No, so I don't think I got it in here. So how do you open it up? And well, what does a meteor look like? Like any meteor, except I contend that this meteor has a face on here. I mean, if you look at it, there's the eyes. I mean, the meteor is happy to crash into your planet. And if you look, you'll find or guys, does that look like an X? X marks the spot to open the meteor. So you see the little notch there with this key? I mean, this little part of the key goes. So if you just put it in there, you just twist it. In fact, if you don't have the key, you can just take the knife and go ahead and put it in there and twist it. It works just as well, but see. But hey, since we have the key, just put, you know, pull it, twist it, and oh, water does come out. And look what we got, no gold. And you'll see it was sitting upon top this little uh, prong here. And there we go. We've got our arrowhead of ice, ice baby. And it goes on the back of his little um, saddle, <laughs> like this. Now we just need a rider, yeehaw! And so guys, I think we missed a little something on the back end of him here. It's, uh, yeah, there it is, hard to see blue and blue. Oh, and by the way guys, which group am I pining for? Which group do I really want? The ice or the fire? Blue shirt, a dead giveaway. Okay, so let's go ahead and put his tail on. There, that's a little bit easier. He doesn't keep his balance too well. He kind of like, he can easily fall down. So guys, he needs a rider, right? So we've got hunters to the left of me, which are the ice we got and collected all of them. So you want to watch him and oh, look, my favorite one, excess. He's frozen and so, we got our ice hunters, and then we over here, we have our fire hunters when we open up fire. So for the ice hunters, which one should I put on top of our gold tour? Uh, I agree. We gotta put the guy who looks like the uh, Disney Octonauts show, that polar bear, the captain. Creature report, creature report. Well, we got a creature here, so let's see if we can put him on top here to ride him. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> he kind of falls backwards, <laughs> but maybe I just don't have him positioned. Maybe he needs to like put his legs out more, but uh, you know what the tail, hey, he's kind of balanced, right? So anyways, <laughs> out to the wild west. <laughs> we know we got Gold Tour. Sweet, he's part of the frozen dudes. Guys, what you can do is you can keep these. And then if you want, if you have enough of them, just open them up and pour all the uh, volcanic stuff that explodes into fire ice into here. Make a big, huge one. Just have it blow up all over the place. That would be super cool. And then the water wax. I mean, look at that. The plate is just total water, but it's so cool. I mean, look at that. The water wax. I mean, that's just so cool. It's just so waxy. Wax on, wax off. Number two. Let's go ahead and open this up and let's go for the fire this time. In fact, I'm get, I'm gonna collect all six, that's my goal, as well as getting both the uh, Pit of Burning Secrets, the gold, it's ultra rare, or the Cauldron of Eternal Cold. We'll actually want both. So there's no ores in this game. 
Okay, so what do you think? Am I getting fire or ice? I mean, you can just peel off the bottom and see if you got red gel and you're getting fire. You can see the dragon inside. But you know, let's go ahead and let's get a fire explosion going from this volcano. Volcano fits fire. He's got heartburn. So let's go ahead and pull it open. Guess what, guys? What are you seeing there? Is it white or red or orange? It's white, so we're going for another ice, ice baby. Yeah, and so we already know about doing the explosion with the ice, so that's cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the key, and then what I'll do is I'll just pour this into here and make one big giant volcano at the end, just have it totally explode all over the place. If you agree, thumbs up. Okay, I'll put that over here. Ready and tear. Here we get this time. Uh, you guys see something in there? Looks black. I think I got gold. Chill. Oh! Yes, I and mean, you, like you say, you can take your knife and do that thing, but why? Let's just break it open. Oh, that's so cool. That's such a cool feeling. It's such a goo feeling if we were doing goo jitsus. And uh, you know what? That's kind of an iffer. I don't know if there's any gold in that one. I hope there is. We got the big Aldi font. Yay! Give us a little sound. He looks like he belongs to Exus. He's Exus's dude, right? Cool. In fact, he looks like he's got the legs and everything to actually hold up R. And in fact, you can take this little off so we can hold it, so we can stay on, right? So he's got a, look at that. Oh, he can totally hold himself in place. He's coming after you. Exus wants you to subscribe. <laughs> we'll spook you there. Maybe you won't, but we hope you do. Okay, so we gotta find out if we got gold in here. Where's the key? How oh, these little things, they're so easy to lose, right? So I'll go ahead and put it in the hole, pop, twist, and uh, oh, okay, we didn't get the gold. We got the little uh, arrowhead of ice. And there you go. And that's our battle cry right there. I mean, that's super cool, guys. You can have hours of fun riding into battle. Shop! But you know what? We don't have an opposing force like fire. So we're gonna have to get a fire beast, right? So now we got two of the three ice, gold tour and gold chill. Now we're looking for frost smash. So once we do that, we get we got all of them, except I'm still looking for my ultra rare gold dip treasure, our cauldron of eternal cold. Okay, so awesome. Let's put them over in the cold section, <laughs> freezer section. <laughs> so guys, what do you think? Fire, um, let's just go ahead and pull the top. Oh, guys. Now I can show you, that's not white, <laughs> that's red. And <laughs> we're gonna go and explode this out. Sweet, let's see what it looks like, okay? So we gotta have our little black scooper, get it in the water, our little poop better scoop better, and go ahead and put it in here, and pour. Okay, watch it go, watch it go, yes! Whoa! And guys, I'll tell you this, I recommend that you wear gloves with this because this will stain the fingers. We played with this before in the Hunter series and yeah, it does stain, but man, look at that. Heartburn, take a little antacid. Oh, that's so cool, the way it just... Okay, let's just get our key out. Awesome, look how flaky that is. Oh, and look, but there's some that's just still very, very dark red. Here, I'll see if I can show you that. No, oh, maybe not. So if you find very, very dark, oh, see there's some very dark red in there. That means that the water hasn't hit it or it's not, and you can see it also right here. That means that it could grow a little bit more if you add some more water to it. So, you know, just, let's see if we can get the rest out. Oh, see, look at that. That's even a better example. That means that the moisture hasn't gotten to it. So it's still in its like condensed form as it were. So we just add water and it'll start blowing up. So if we just want to add a little water there. Yeah, it starts absorbing. It starts like filling up and it starts growing. I mean, that's totally cool. Favorite one right now is the fire. I gotta change shirts. I mean, is this right? <laughs> it's like now fire's my favorite. So this will be our first red. And who are we gonna get? Oh, look at that. You see him, that red water wax? That is so cool. It looks like we got a blue belly. Raptorn, yes, awesome. Okay, and there's the meteor. Let's just go ahead and let's just give it a feel. Feels a little bit heavier, but you can be fooled by the weight of this because it does have some water in it. So, I mean, gosh, where's the key? And there it is. We just go right for the gold and say, hey, gold, gold, get me gold. Pit of burning fire secrets. Gold, gold, gold. Nope. But look at that. Ah, uh, trick me. There's water in there and there is some left. There's some water wax. Moose, don't do this. I was feeling the weight of it. I'm like, come on, but this is cool. I love it. Look at that. 
And that's your trident of fire. Trident of fire. So I love it. That's cool. We'll put that down and we'll get out our rat torn. Oh, look at that. I tore to get rat torn. Look at that gel. So let's see. We gotta check this because, you know, if he's got a, oh, see, I probably would have missed that again, a tail. Well, it's a little bit darker than the water wax. And then we got his, he's got his mohawk. He's got his punk rock hairdo. So he's ready to rock. He's got his shades. That is cool. So there's his tail and the spines obviously go towards the back or right side up here. Wrap torn. Now, hopefully he stands up. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense. That other tail here, probably needs to go down a little bit more so it might have to go like that see now he can stand with the rider on his back for our uh gold tour cool looks good so let's go ahead and put his oh. <laughs> where's his lower jaw he can't eat you he could just like tooth you ah so where's his lower jaw oh here it is okay i'm glad he came with a lower chopper okay oh just screw that one on and that's cool see him okay now he just needs a rider right oh We've got his trident of fire, so it can go on the back. That is cool. He's got his power up, his fire that shoots out of his mouth once it powers up in here. I, you know, I'm just making things up as I go, but that's still. <laughs> so we need a we need a rider. So who do you think would ride him over in our uh, series four? Fire versus Ice Hunters here. Uh, which guy should we pick? Uh, let's do Flaming Top here. He looks all right. Cool. And then we'll turn him over here so you can see he's got his hand that he can grip and hold on to that. Charge! Yay, our first fire dude! Now you can have battles. So, oh my goodness. Go ahead and say, um, when we pit Excess uh, Gold Chill against Raptorn, the flame, I mean, who's going to win? Who's gonna win? Put it in the comments below. I mean, Excess, he's got a lot of power. He's packing a big, huge axe. Ow. And so I'm thinking maybe Excess will take him out, but cool. These guys are awesome. Oh, look at that stuff. Like I said, that stuff can stain, so you wanna be careful. It's super cool looking. You know how they have the Parade of Homes. Hey, the Parade of Like Beast. Okay, guys. With all the surgeries that I'm doing here, as it were, opening up. My hands just get too slippery with all this water. I gotta have more grip. Rubberiness, as it were, will help me get, get through this without slipping all over the place. Cause the editing department's gonna hate me. <laughs> I am the editing department, ah! So, oh, that was so much easier. Oh, hey, look, we got a blue. Oh yeah, it's a little bit easier. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Come on. What's my luck with this gold? I mean, it feels heavy, but then it tricks you and they put water. Well, he's blue, and he's cold, and he's gold. We've got Cauldron of Eternal Cold. <laughs> we got it. I was thinking, man, this kind of feels heavy, but they trick you. You know, Moose does that. They put an extra water here to weigh it down. You're like, oh, my God, cold. <gasps> we did it. Yes. Woo. Hey, guys. This is so cool, man. Just wow. We'll have to do that wow thing. Again. Oh, okay. So we got to open it up so I can show you what it looks like. I'm just, you know, too caught up into the moment here. There's the gold. There's the cold gold. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Oh, God. Maybe I need my safety glasses on again because this stuff's just flying everywhere. And I don't want to get hit in the eye. There we go. Okay, now our gold right here. Man, you ride into battle with that. Oh, you just scare your enemies. He's rich! Run! He's rich! <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> I just saw a G on the gold. <laughs> and I'm like, to let you know, it is gold. Did you see the G right there? You see that? I mean, the work is so intricate on this stuff. They really went to town on this, this cauldron of eternal cold. He's got a bad weapon and he's rich. Run away. Oh, yeah. You gotta. <sighs> That's a fun toy. That's cool. You could play with that for like a minute. No, <laughs> you could probably play with that for like hours. Yeah, look at that gold. Wow, we'll just kind of show them off like that. That's cool. Okay, guys, so what's the score? We're still looking for two more fires, one more ice beast, and the pit of burning secrets. I mean, that's just hit me in the pit. 
Okay, so we got another blue, but this one, what do you think that one is? It's Frost Smash. That's cool. I like it. Oh, oh, the plastic. See, the plastic's still on. I just took off the tin foil, so we'll have to do surgery. And there's the plastic. Okay. Yeah, Frost Smash. So, guys, we got all of our ice dudes. All of them. So, I don't know. I'm going to use the sword. I don't need the key. Just to stick it in the hole. And let's see if we can get, like, another gold. No. But, man, like I said, they trick you with that extra, like, stuff in there. Oh, he's looking sweet. Oh, I like the colors of this guy. Look at his mug. That is awesome. He looks super cool. He's like one of my favorites, I think. And he's very colorful. Boy, he's Manny the Mammoth. We got to make sure the riders match up with them. Blue here with the blue and then the purple and the purple. Okay. He's a go, he can ride them. It's kind of like how to train your dragon, you know? Where they have to touch the dragon's head to become one with them. You just have to wear the same colors and then they'll just let you ride. All right, sweet. We got our complete collection of all the colds here of the ice dudes, the ice beasts. Awesome, so here we go. There are the parade of ice. Da, 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 da. Oh, and one has the gold. So guys, put in the comments below which one is your favorite. I'm thinking just color alone. This guy's my favorite, but because of excess, uh, that might be number two and then number three. But because he's got gold, he's number one. Next, we're gonna have a build your own Fort Treasure X video. Oh, fire, yes. Oh no, I think it is a new fire. Oh, it's Treasure Rex, I think. Hold on guys. I think we got a new fire, guys. Happy days. Ooh. What thus seeth thereth, it is fireth a new one. -eth. <laughs> Come forth hither, treasure Rex. Let's do it. Oh, <laughs> hey, it's sushi. What would you like for dinner? Let's feel it. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I got a poker face. <laughs> no gold. <laughs> rats i was really hoping but hey we got somebody new we're just one beast away now from getting all oh this guy looks cool look at that mop on the top head cool. he looks awesome i love that now that one i can see where king gold crown would would uh, ride him because he's got the same look look at him look they both got the same flaming mops <laughs> that's cool oh yeah <laughs> you know this would never work, I don't think, but how about if uh, Moose did, did like, you know, eat your way to find your creature through Jello? I'm not, you know, don't eat, don't eat this, don't, it's bad, but, you know. Oh, wow, he's got the bust. Look, bust a move. Oh, look, he has two little hands. That's why these guys didn't evolve, these treasure Rexes, because, you know, when you're in class, nobody's going to see you raise your hand. Oh, that is cool. Here, let's turn him around so you can see him grab. Oh, and then his head's coming off. Oh, it's just a mess. You know, this thing doubles as a little arresting for your back, like a motorcycle. There we go. Yes, Treasure X and the flaming top of King Gold Crown. And if you watch my other video, King Gold Crown, if he falls off, that's okay because he's got a helmet that bounces. We're in a fight now. Okay, here comes Exus. Dun, 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 and he like smacks him off with the axe and he falls he bounces and comes back up and comes around for the attack gets him from behind but then he's got a helmet that bounces and it's just an ongoing war it goes forever okay guys well we're missing the pit of burning secrets you'll to go rare gold dip treasure and we're also missing the last fire one that we want to get super bad which is scorchosaurus oh cool this guy looks different difference good could this be scorchosaur we just, I think, got all of them, guys. Oh, Now, guys, I'm just going to go for the gold because, you know, I, I love Scorchus. Okay, we'll wait. Scorchosaur, come out of your tomb. Ah, he looks pretty cool. I like him. Look at that. He looks pretty cool. He's got a flaming top, so, you know, King Gold Crown could ride him as well. So, like I said, I think maybe King Gold Crown could ride him better. And King Gold Crown just doesn't have balance. There, well, maybe. 
Okay, stay there. Now we gotta have the pit of burning secrets. If you shake it and you hear water, uh, not likely. Uh, okay, we got our tried in a fire, so that's okay. So wow, guys, we got everything. We got all three of the beasts from the ice, all three of the beasts from the fire, and um, here's just a little parade of fires and our parade of ice. Awesome. Oh, don't forget. The one that actually has the gold, he gets to strut his stuff. Da, 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 da. There we go. Sweet. We got everybody. And so we got the um, cauldron of eternal cold. Now we just need to find the pit of burning secrets. That's the only thing I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, guys. Uh, I changed. I used to be cool blue ice. Ice. Now I'm totally flame on, as he said in Fantastic Four, the human torch, when he turned from a dude into a total human fireball. He's like, flame on. So look, well, okay, it's Spider-Man, but still the color's red. It's kind of like, oh, well, it is fire red. So I switch sides. I'm now looking for the pit of burning secrets. Woo! Wax on, wax off, water wax. New from Hasbro. Buy right now or Parker Brothers. <laughs> There's no water. Did I get another cauldron of eternal cold? I mean, that's super cool. Because it's cold, it's cool, cool is cold. Um, but I really like to be ah, James Brown. Ow! Ooh, too hot! Pit of burning secrets! Ow! So I'd rather be him. No, we didn't get the I shook it. Maybe it just wasn't enough water, so wah, wah, wah. okay, we'll keep moving. Uh, these numbers right here. So we wrote them all down. And then we just opened up a specific serial number that we only had three, and they're all the same. So what does that tell us? I don't know, we're still gonna keep looking. At least we're finding that with specific serial numbers, they're all the same. Or we found like all the uh, gold chills. We also found it when it comes to the Scorchosaurus. And so we're just noticing these things. So we'll find out. I mean, the last gold that we found, the uh, Cauldron of Eternal Cold, uh, that was in the Raptors. I don't know if we're going to find it here because that was a different serial number. It was kind of a mix. We'll find out here. So let's go ahead and just hear all the Raptors. So guys, um, what we got here is we got five with one serial number. And I opened up one and it was ice. And all these should be ice. And they should all be the same beast. So look, there we go. That's ice as well. Let me just go ahead and open them all up. So look at this, guys. Five of these were all the same serial number and they're all ice and it's all going to be the same uh, beast and I'll prove my point because here's what we found in the first one of the five in the same serial number and this is ice obviously and it's the beast of frost smash and so we'll open up all these others here and they'll all be frost smash see frost smash see frost smash frost smash again so guys we're on to these codes here and uh, we think we have a great idea of where the gold can be found, at least what serial number to look. All the other serial numbers appears to be bogus, and we don't know <laughs> as far as the gold goes. And there's Frost Smash again. And we don't know this other serial number if they actually have produced the Pit of Burning Secrets. If somebody's found the Pit of Burning Secrets, the fire, great, because what we're finding is just the uh, ice, the cauldron of eternal cold. Um, so we've seen this with Treasure X, where like, for example, in Series 3, King's Gold, where we've searched and we bought all their hunters and all their mini beasts, and we went to all these different stores, and they didn't release, or we didn't find, eight of the uh, characters, one from each group, because remember, you can find a total of 18. So of the 18, they held out one from each group, at least that's what we're thinking, and they just waited and waited, so you spent all this money to keep trying to find it, and maybe only a few places they released it in, like back east or somewhere else, because even on eBay, they only showed like, you know, somebody just found one, that was it. It wasn't in great numbers. And then, all oh, coincidentally, towards the end, when Series 3 was done, oh my goodness, we started finding all of them, like including Queen Glowina for the Hunters, and then Tench for the Mini Beasts. All of a sudden, it's, it's in almost every case that we opened up, all the ones that we couldn't find, which is the eight, one from each group that they pulled, or they didn't produce, or they weren't selling, so I don't know. But then again, we just may have the uh, worst luck ever. So guys, five meteors here, and there should be no golds in any of these based upon the serial numbers and what we're finding. There's one serial number that has kind of a little mix of both ice and fire, mostly ice, but it's a particular serial number that we found our gold in. 
and we found one obviously here uh, and then these other ones different serial numbers uh, they'll be targeted towards certain beasts as we found here but there should be no gold in any of them and they're just targeted directly to one beast so when you open up serial numbers and they're all the same uh, serial number you'll get all the same beasts unless you find that one that will actually have the gold in it but it won't be the same beast there'll be a mix of beasts it's pretty sneaky or tricky we're trying to see if we're onto them so let's go ahead and open these up and there should be no gold in any of these one, two, three, four, and five. No gold. So we're on to them, I think. At least they're coding in the numbers at the bottom of the boxes. So guys, the other thing is, is that when we bought these, it just came in piles. So I don't know if somebody's sorting through these numbers because there should be one in every case, one in 12. And it looks like so far somebody was sorting and pulling these out because in 30, uh, well, we're going to open up 36 so far and we only found one. Yeah, something seems a little bit iffy from uh, the store that we bought this from. So, you know, if they're on and they know these uh, these numbers and stuff and they give you the wrong stuff, it's just better to probably go to the store itself, whatever store is in your neck of the woods, and look at the numbers and find patterns as we did. You're probably wondering, well, what numbers are those? Uh, we'll give you our number, just hang on, of what we think actually has the gold in. And so far the numbers here are jiving. You get a, a number, you're going to find beasts in them, the same beast. So if you're looking for a specific beast, I mean, we got the numbers on these. We know exactly which numbers, serial numbers, will give you certain beasts. But no gold in that range. The other one's kind of a hodgepodge where this one serial number that, that we found, you'll get mostly ice is what we found and maybe one uh, or two fires so maybe that uh, fire is going to be like super ultra rare we know the ones to avoid now so guys we got pages of numbers here where we've been writing down and keeping track of who we found frost a smash five of them from this serial number and we just got pages of of all these patterns we're finding so super cool we're excited and a little sad that we had to go through so much to find out the pattern, but hey, it's a numbers game. The more you do, the more you find a pattern, theoretically, and so that's what we're finding. These four are from the same serial numbers, and what's interesting is serial numbers on the outside don't match the serial numbers on the inside, is what we found, or at least uh, they don't seem to match at all. So we're not going off the serial numbers on the inside, so please know that just on the outside of the box, because we can't open it up in the store. I don't want that and throw it back. Okay, these are all fires. Cool. Okay. I mean, we don't expect to get any gold in this one because we found the serial number where it's got a mix and we found the gold in that. Let's just see who the beast is for this serial number for the fire, okay? Yeah, this one's Treasure X. So for this serial number, it's all going to be or should be Treasure X. If it is, then we just proved our point. So yeah, guys, I'll just show you um, everything is Scorchosaur. And if you see the little emblem, it looks like the dinosaur Jurassic Park, you know? They see that on the, the side of the Jeep, just a big dinosaur, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. But this is a Treasure Rex. And then there's the uh, Trident in the Fire. And that one actually had some, like, water in it. <sighs> this one just... You can kind of hear some water in there, but... Oh! It blew me out of the water! <laughs> it blew me out of the water! I am blown! I am blown, guys! Guys, I am so blown! There is a pattern, but the pattern should not have gold <laughs> in these other ones. Because when we did the Hunters, we found one serial number that actually had... Um, that, we, that we found both Cauldrons of Eternal Cold... And we opened up all the other ones. We didn't find anything. Burn, pit of Burning Seek. Oh, wow. Wow, guys. Wow. Put it in the comments down below. And you know what? This one feels just as heavy, guys. It feels you just as heavy. We so. had 36, and there should be one in every 12. So at the very least, we got, if we get this, if this is a gold, guys, then we got one in every 12. But they didn't come in cases, which in cases, how Moose packs it, it, it comes, you know. It, yeah. You'll find one, you're... It, our experiences, we always found one. Always found one in every case. So, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Should we, okay, I know. Suspense. I want to see this gold. But this one's like kind of gnawing on me. The water doesn't move as... It doesn't sound as like it's moving around as freely as it normally would. Which would make sense because the plastic uh, is preventing it. So, I'm thinking there's gold in here. Do you think there's gold in here, camera mom? I'm going to say yes because you already found a piece. Let's hope. <laughs> we found our other gold! Yes! It all came from the uh, 
Oh, what's their names again? The Treasure Rex. So Treasure Rex does live up to his name, guys. Find the Treasure Rex because he's got treasure. I mean, what a punny thing for Moose to do. To have Treasure Rex actually have treasure. And it, of the three, uh, no, of the four Treasure Rexes, two of them had gold. And it was, guys, it was a different serial number. So the other serial number that had a mix of like fire and ice beasts actually had the gold. And it was the same with the Hunters. They had one serial number that had a, both a mix of fire and ice Hunters. And we just found two Cauldron of Eternal Colds. We didn't find any fire because all the other serial numbers, all the other different ones did not have the fires. Not to say what you learn as you go, somebody else grabbed it out of it. So now that we found them here, we're so excited. Oh my goodness, Let's these are so it. cool. Well, I know you guys want to see it, but I, I'm still like explaining things because hey, wouldn't you guys like gold too? Camera mom's excited, she just wants to see it. But this, I gotta explain it why it's still in my head from all the experience that we had. Cause you'll see in the other video that we did find just two Cauldron of Eternal Colds. We didn't find any fire, but we'll show that in the other video with the hunters so you can see what it looks like. So, hey, you know, the cool thing is, is that they're the same golds, whether in the hunters or in the beast, it's all the same. It's, they're both Pit of Burning Secrets or Cauldron of Eternal Colds. I mean, this is so awesome. So guys, we gotta, we got to see this. So long story short, if I can do recap, see if it makes sense, because I feel like I'm just like, oh, you know, what, what happened here? There was one serial number that had a mixture. There may be other serial numbers, but there's one particular serial number that had a mix of fire and ice, and we found mostly ice beasts. And then we found the Cauldron of Eternal Cold in that one. And so when we opened up the Hunters, it seemed like the same pattern was going. We had one serial number that when we opened it up, it had like in the beast we found one cauldron of eternal cold here and it was right here guys remember this one right there we just found one and so we're like oh and then camera mom's like oh wow you know what we're not gonna find any more gold i'm like oh i, I don't like to hear that but she may be right and so we kept opening and we, we were gonna we, we, you're not gonna find it here but then two of them felt heavy so when you shake it, the water doesn't move as freely with the sloshing sound because of the plastic. Uh, like I said, we got notes here. In fact, I'm gonna take a note right here what we just found in this serial number. Wow, big find. <laughs> and I want you guys like to know about this. So you want my notes here, guys? Um, sure. It started with the um, Treasure X eggs. Uh, series two for the aliens where we actually found a pattern there and that one proved 100% every time. So watch that video by me. Uh, my boys will uh, did the other video but in the video by me I actually go through and we go to Walmart we buy some and we actually find the one that has the serial number at the bottom that actually has the ultra rare gem treasure in it. So yeah these are the notes and just gonna go through them real quick. Um, there's one serial number that we found mostly ice and then uh, we found one gold in that, and that was from the ice right here. That was the 426-719-0101. That was one serial number. It begins with the prefix WS. So guys, let me show you the serial number down below. It begins with the WS. The WS is with the serial number we were looking at. So that's the serial number that I'll give you guys um, and let you know that and by the way, I think this is the one that we found the gold in. <laughs> Any case, so here we go. So here's the serial numbers. The WS, whatever that stands for. Hey, W, whatever stands for. We don't know. Whatever it stands for. <laughs> WS. And then it's 426-719-0101. And so from there, we found the one gold. We found a total of five ice beasts. And then we found a total of three fire beasts. And they're the raptorns. And so that was kind of a mix, but we did find the gold um, in there, the cauldron of eternal cold. And then the next one, the WS4267190102, it was kind of a mix there too. We found the fire Scorchosaurus, three of them, fire treasure wrecks, we found two of them. And then we found one, one frost smash. And then the next serial number, WS4281190103, we found um, two fires in that one. So this one's a mix, but it was all fire. We found two Scorchosauruses and one Raptorn. And then this next one, we found it was all fire, but you know, it's a number. We're not sure if it's exclusively fire, but for the fires that we did find in, there was two. It was the Raptorn, and that was WS4284190103. And then the next one, so this number, we only found gold chill in, and that's WS4296190504. And then the WS4301190102, and we found nothing but ice in that one, a total of two um, gold tours. So if you're just looking for gold tours, you can look in there, but again, we found no gold in those. And then we had another one here of WS4301190304, 
and the three that we found in there were, were all gold tours and you can see we've got tons of gold tours here or the ice no gold and then we thought we had another serial number ws4301190304 there was just one and for some reason i i didn't keep track of it so here we go we've got the last page here these guys here the frost smash all five of them were in the serial number there was no variation that was ws4301190404 and then the one where we found treasure x in that had the gold and it had nothing but treasure x's in them four of them all treasure x's we found two golds you sure you want it spoiler alert for this one so you may want to stop and just not watch anymore hey if you've gone this far i assume you wanted to know about this right okay WS4303190504. But I did find one here, guys, that actually has the code that we're looking for, that has the gold, the pit of burning secrets. It's here in the cart. And that's the code right there. We're gonna crack it, take it home, crack it open, and we're gonna find the pit of burning secrets. We cracked the uh, code, almost 85%, uh, if not 100%, of uh, which ones contain gold. Okay, guys, just got back from Target. And as you recall, we got the number on the back of this for the Fire and Ice Beast. And that serial number here tells me that there's the pit of burning secrets. The gold is in here. And we're going to prove that it's true. And that whenever you have the serial number, WS4343190504, you're going to get the pit of burning secrets. So, Jacob... Do the honors. Open up and it's, find it's that pit. It's so heavy. It's like, it's deadly. It's so heavy. Here, here's a secret, bud. Oh, and Caleb is recording today. Yeah, we don't have mom helping us. It's it's Caleb, right? Yeah, because mom is sleeping. Camera mom is taking a much needed break. So what you do, you get your knife. Ugh! Oh, don't poke that, bud. That's what you do. We just need to tear the bottom open and open up the meteor to get the gold. Okay. Why can't we do the top? It's real fun. I know it's fun, but we've already showed them all that. Oh, yeah. But just give it a hi -ya! Do you want some help? Oh. Yeah, it's hard, right? Oh. Ooh, you Ooh, know what, guys? You know what, guys? Uh, the pit of burning secrets, 0504. Um, this is ice, so... Are we gonna get any gold? Did I mess up on this? We'll find out on the 0504. I might have messed up. Let's we'll see if we found the gold, at least for the ice, the cauldron of eternal cold. Okay, let's get right to it. Here we go. Oh, it's like tooting. Is it heavy? Yeah, you know what? The 0504, the last one that we got was the pit of burning secrets. Now, the 0504, the serial number, the end in that suffix, got us the Pit of Burning Secrets. But you know what? Did we get gold in this one at all, guys? Because if we did, then the serial number isn't wrong. We did get gold. It's just that I haven't pinpointed which one's fire and which one's ice, which one's the Pit of Burning Secrets and which one's the Cauldron of Eternal Cold. So, Jacob, I don't know if there's any gold in there. Do you want to see? feels kind of heavy, but that could be water. Do you want to open it up for us, bud? Water can make it sometimes heavy. He doesn't care about gold. He just wants the beast. He does really well. <laughs> I try not to be. Now, get us some gold, but it felt heavy. It did. Does that feel heavy to you? Like, oh, yeah, you can do that, too. And just twist it. Twist it. We got gold. Guys, it still works. <laughs> we got the cauldron of eternal cold, guys. We got it. So the serial numbers, we cannot pinpoint that it's the pit of burning secrets, but you do get gold because every time we found that serial number, we've got gold. This is the first one where it's, where it's a different kind of gold. It's not the pit of burning secrets. Guys, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, way to go, high five. But here, you wanna see that? Caleb, look, can we see that right there on the camera very well? Yes. Can you see that cauldron of eternal cold? Yes. Okay, then here, let me pull it out just so you guys can see it. So there we go. Cauldron of Eternal Cold. That is awesome, guys. So this kind of shakes things up. It's like we got the Pit of Burning Secrets in the 0504s, like two or three of them. Oh, we opened so many, I don't remember. We got quite a few uh, Pit of Burning Secrets. So guys, the 0504s, you get them. You're gonna get gold, at least that's been my experience for several of them now. But 
I'm not, I can't tell you now if it's gonna be fire or ice. I'll have to do a little bit more research. I'll pop back in the video and see if I missed anything, but so far, that's where we're going. So the next one, um, this one is WS4291190304. Not sure, but we're gonna try it. No. Okay. Okay, so guys, we got, oh my gosh, it's the same one. We got the same beast. Well, if this one has gold in it, this one's just a guess because all the 0504s had gold. This one's just more of a guess where I'm kind of thinking this may have gold in it. So I just went ahead and said, well, let's just grab it. Like, I, Mom's going to freak <laughs> out when she comes down. Guys, you won't believe this. I think there's gold in this one too. And, and my guess, my guess is right. Here, you want to feel that? Open it up for us, bud. Another one. <laughs> We got another one, guys. And of course, it's going to be uh, Cauldron of Eternal Cold because we got another ice. So far, everything that I put together, all the serial numbers have produced gold. And this one was more of kind of a guess. I mean, I, I, I got it right. I'll just have to double check the 0304s. Look, we've opened up so many. I Oh my goodness. This serial number, we've cracked the code to Treasure X and which ones contain the gold. From what we've experienced, probably 95% accuracy, or up in the 90s for sure. God, but these two, 100%. Wow, so super cool. And you guys are still waiting for this, right? You still wanna see it. Oh my goodness, I've just been yammering on like there was no tomorrow. Well, there is one. Well, there certainly was one today. And so let's go ahead and cut this open with this wimpy little knife. Oh, but it does so well if you get the right pressure. Oh, wow. Oh wow, Pit of Burning Secrets. So, so let me see if I can get the front of the Pit of Burning Secrets to you. Okay, there's the cross. It's not a hole there at all that you'll see on the map there. There's the front of it. Oh, that's just cool. Real gold. Dip treasure. <laughs> so, that's so cool. I mean, that's just awesome. And it looks like he's got eyes there. Look at, it looks like it uh, kind of looks like a beast, a snake coming after you. If you look at it close enough, it's got the uh, like top of some dragon like a little bit of reptile here he's got eyes on either side and it looks like he's got that mouth there i don't know it looks like some sort of creature it's just super cool that is so awesome and in the back you got just this dew you know just the back of the hair and then just put it on the back of your beast here and ride him to town that is so cool so let's show you all our golds wow do i dare open this one up because the resale value will go way down if i open it up <laughs> Oh, you see that? There just goes the pocketbook and the resale value. It wee plunk. But you know what? It's fun to share this with you guys, to share in our success, uh, just because then you guys can see what's really out there and maybe you'll find your success as well. Here's a disclaimer. This is what we found. So if you guys go off of what we did and you're like, yeah, he never, you know, hey, you know, this is what we found. And we can't say this is true or accurate, but if it is, leave it in the comments below if you were lucky enough, because, you know, we had four of these guys and only two of them had the gold. So, you know, if you go to the store and you go through and you find the serial number for these guys and you pull them out, and you get three or four or two or three or however many they have. Somebody may have been there before you. They may have pulled it out and just got lucky, didn't know what they were looking for. Or maybe, again, this is our experience. It could be that these serial numbers who knows, but hey, let us know, put in the comments if these work for you. So wow, camera mom helped me open this up. Way to gold, mom, that was awesome. So look, okay, so we got all the fires, we got all the ice, just a plethora of them. And here's the dudes, I mean, they're so cool. I love all the beasts and you know what? Even after I found the golds, I'd, as a collector, you know, I would want to go and yeah, collect all of them. There's all of them. So how many fires, how many ice we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Wow, that's, that's, that's magical. Because we have 36. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, Woo! Wow, that worked out really weird. <laughs> Here's another pattern, guys, because you know, 36, if they just pulled all of them out because it fits the pattern, we got three golds. Remember, there's one in every 12, so they just put all the cases in there and it looks like you're gonna get the same. Gosh, I love patterns, I love finding things and opening up. So keep watching our videos, guys. As near as we can find out, serial numbers and patterns, we're gonna look for them. I assume at some point they'll probably be changed because, you know, I, I assume that maybe we just increase the store sales. Hey, people are coming into stores now, nobody's shopping online. <laughs> so here, we got the last one. We're gonna do a final encore presentation. And wow, 36, all 36, super sweet. We, is it safe to say we may have the world's largest collection of series four, fire versus ice beasts? I don't know. Cool, here we go, guys. Oh. 
I don't know, should we put these in plates? Let them spill over. They don't want to have enough room because this could be such a mess. We're running out of battery time on our cameras and we just want to do this because we think it's super fun. First, the ice. Oh, look at that, whoa, that's even more explosive. And then the fire. Oh, oh, look at that. Major explosive. Oh, look at that, it looks like a total volcano the way it's like a concaving inside. You see that? And you know what? It's just tons more water we got to keep putting in because it just keeps, oh, I love that. That is so cool. Yay. It's like fireworks. Moose does such an awesome job at giving you more fun than just like, hey, you open it up, there it is. They actually let you play around with this stuff. Look how it just keeps erupting. And you see how some of it's darker than the other. It means it hasn't absorbed all the water. And it's going to go on all night, guys. We've been here for a couple hours running out of water here i'll just finish off with the fire looks like that's pretty much it guys Woo! please click on one of these videos for more events of fun